this computer, sure. Hi, I'm Thomas Prowl. I'm the designer of Access Empires. Uh, and with me here today is Steve, and Steve's going to um, run with me through the Case White training scenario for Tataller Creek. Uh, you'll see on the board, we've got it already set up here. Steve, you want to say hello to the audience? Hello, everybody. Okay, so the game, um, the situation here, this is a really simple um, scenario that kind of covers the basics of moving and fighting. What we've got set up here is uh, Germany has to capture three Polish cities before the end of their turn to win the game. Those cities are, uh, we'll hide the counters here to show you, uh, Posen, Warsaw and Krakow. And Steve, you'll see I've thrown some little. Uh, like those the blue highlighters? Yeah, the blue highlighters underneath them so you can see what you're, what you're going for there. Uh, the, this particular scenario skips a lot of the early term political stuff, so we won't run through that. It actually starts with the support segment, 2.2. And for you, Steve, uh, what that means is that you've got a couple of decisions to make here with these assets, the German Air Force and the Blitz marker. Uh, the German Air Force needs to be, uh, if you want to sortie at this turn, and you're going to want to. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, can be placed uh, within three hexes of a German air base, which is going to be any hex, any rail hex uh, city or port that contains a, a supplied German unit. And for this scenario, all the German units are supplied. So basically, you're going to want to pick a hex within three hexes of these guys to drop down the Air Force. Let's say you put it there. Um, what that Air Force is going to do, Polish units won't be able to move or retreat through that hex. And it will also give you a combat shift in all hexes adjacent to the Air Force and underneath the Air Force itself. Okay. After after you place that, you're going to want to place a blitz marker. And the blitz marker can go anywhere. It's not limited by within three hexes of any one. What that blitz marker is going to do is it's going to do two things. It's going to allow you to, um, it's going to allow your units that are within two hexes of the blitz marker to attack twice in your combat segment. Uh, if it's placed within a city, like if you put it right there in Posen, it would mean that Polish defenders in that hex would not get to trace, uh, or they would not get to trade step losses for retreats. If you force them to retreat, they have to leave the city. So that can be useful um, for routing defenders out of cities. Uh, let's see, anything else? I think you understand the basics, like the, as far as the, um, the counters go, right? It's attack, defense, move. Yeah, um, yeah. Yep. and the and, steps. The steps are up there in the upper right hand corner. Yeah. Um, let me know if you want to see some of these assets. After we do your support segment, you're going to have an organization segment where you can combine these one step units mm -hmm. um, into some of these formations to make larger. Um, but let's go ahead and start with the support segment. So, uh, where do you want the Air Force to come down? Well, let's. Probably either almost where you had it or what was it, Lodits or something like Lodes, that? Lodits or, yeah, you could do or, that because that's within three hexes of um, Breslau or Königsberg. Um, yeah, the, I, I didn't know how much tactical advice you want from me or if you want to. Well, yeah, if you can, because, uh, yeah, yeah I'm tr like I said, uh, the little experience I had was just with a little action in China, and I don't know if that was quite uh, getting the full effect. Translatable, or, uh, sure. Uh, so, all right, our objective is to capture these three cities. We want to avoid situations where um, we have big stacks of units um, that can trade steps for retreats. Um, and one of the kind of the tactical nuances of Krieg is, is um, the way it simulates blitz warfare is when you attack, you force you force the defenders to kind of route out of the way and take all the defenders with them. And sometimes we call this like a bowling ball thing. Like let's say you move this stack here, attack these guys, and force these guys to retreat. They go they go all the way back to Krakow. That ends up with a big stack. That's bad. 
the okay. overstacked guys will um, be eliminated at the end of the combat segment. But like one of the things you want to avoid as the, the German attacker in this is you want to avoid like hitting one of these ends and, and collapsing the defenders onto each other. You're going to be better off kind of like breaking through the center here. Yeah, hit the middle. Hit the middle, force them to to carry the defenders through, and then on your way to to Warsaw. So no, that's loads is not necessarily a bad place. Um, let's take a look at the combat results table real quick. Um, assuming within the, the the TK combat system, you get a shift if you have an adjacent air unit. You get a shift if you have a blitz enabled armor unit, and the uh, uh, in the attack, and the Germans have two of those in this, and then you get a shift if you have an HQ providing support. Yeah, headquarters, and, yeah. Right, and the Germans have one of those in this. So, to max out on the the nine to one column for your your main attack, your Schwerpunkt, uh, you only need a three to one, and it is possible, right, with some of these like one point defend uh, poles to to max out on the odds there. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's something else to keep in mind too. Um, you know, clearly you're probably not going to struggle to take these two cities, the opening um, within a single combat phase. The key is making sure that Getting you have enough, Warsaw. yeah, enough guys like advancing after combat so they can hit Warsaw. Uh, but you know, this is this is a training scenario. You may not get it uh, the first time. That's fine. Um, what we want to do is kind of mess around here and, and see how it all works. So. Um, you're, you're feeling good about placing the air unit in loads or are you spying in other uh, place? Yeah, I mean, I can't really see yet any, uh, unless you have any uh, advice for other places. But uh, to me, that's, I mean, it's covering everything there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. all right. Well, let's, let's go with that then. And then where would you like to place the blitz marker? Now, again, that's just uh, that hex and anything adjacent, right? That or so for the blitz marker, it's anything within two hexes. So oh, two. Yeah. yeah. So uh, like yeah, this almost right there would be good. Where I've dropped it here, right? You could this would allow you to hit Posen well. Um, these guys or can, almost where their air force is too would almost work too, wouldn't it? Well, if you did it there, so that wouldn't reach these guys, right? Because they're oh, one, it's, two, it's three. got a touch. Yeah, it, it's got to cover the hex. So. Um, this might be a better location one and you know, that would allow you to, you know, cover these guys. It wouldn't allow you to get down to Krakow. So you would have to, uh, make sure that you had enough to take Krakow in one combat segment. And right now you'd have a five to two would be a two to one down to a three to two because of the city. And nope, you're not going to inflict two step losses on Krakow with mm. that one. Yeah. So that's cool. What it means is that you'll have to, like, you could move these. You could move these guys obviously down to, to help in the attack, or they could go mess with these guys and then exploit and end up down to Krakow to aid in the combat segment, um, or in the second in the regular combat segment. How about? And the zero one two right on top of right that. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's actually a pretty good looking placement because there you, you would cover everything within two hexes, not the swamp in East Prussia. If you have any guys end up there, um, one thing to note with the once we get to movement, so the Polish defenders all have Zox. Zox stop movement. Um, unless you have a friendly unit in that hex. Yeah. So let's say, you know, this guy motors out. He has to stop because he's entered the Zok of the, the Polish defender in Danzig. But now that Zok is negated so that he can continue he on can move up. like so. Um, uh, all right. So are you happy with your placements there? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay. So then next would become the organization segment. And here uh, we've made this pretty easy for you. You only have two units that uh, can combine into higher formations. You've got the one, two, three here in Königsberg and the one, two, three here in Berlin. Um, I don't know if you want to combine this guy in here. That's something you might want to take a look at. Well, that's um, what I was just going to yeah. ask too is, is 
is there's advantages to each way? I mean, or is it always better to join up? Well, so the, here, here are the trade-offs. If you build the combine the one, two, three into the, um, the German army there, you'll see that he becomes a more powerful unit, right? He would have five attack factors instead of four as it stands right now. So you would but we didn't that. want to join there because I thought to cancel that Zach or whatever. So right, right. You would lose some mobility because he would have to stop upon stop. either ending up there in Danzig, and he'd he'd be blitz enabled from Danzig because he's two hexes um, away um, from the blitz marker, so he can attack Danzig. Um, the the problem with uh, the infantry by themselves, yeah. I mean, he could if you had the German Panzers up here, he could exploit. Um, you know, and maybe end up there to, to aid Posen. From there, he's not going to get to it, help you attack Warsaw, though. He could attack here. Um, he wouldn't be blitz enabled, but he could attack in the regular combat segment. And it might be possible if you had like German units over here to channel the retreat into Warsaw. Um, that's maybe thinking like too many chess moves ahead. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. That's That's kind of a question for you. Um, and like, there, there's no wrong answers here. It's a training scenario. So, I, mm -hmm. I know we're recording this, and you you don't want to mess up on your your first go, but it might happen. This this scenario is a little trickier than it looks. Yeah. Well, to me, I thought yeah, it'd be better not to join that. All right. So we'll leave him as as is. And then over here, you've got um, a one, two, three, and here you actually do have kind of an important decision. Uh, he can stay alone, although there's really no Zox to kind of negate over here, right? Because the Poles have a strong front line. You're not moving through any holes in the lines. So you can combine with the army and make the army a little bit stronger uh, by one point, or you can combine with the HQ and make it much stronger, um, adding uh, two combat factors. The HQ, obviously, they get to throw their, their combat strength to hexes. So that's pretty cool. The problem with the HQ is that it can't um, advance or exploit after combat. So you're gonna wanna get that to a position where it can do maximum damage. Um, but if you combine with it, you're gonna, you're gonna lose some mobility. So it, again, it's the kind of the mobility versus hitting power trade off here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hmm. And I mean, to me, it would, let's see, because I need the three hexes. Um, already have the one, what is that, a 663? This is a 663, six, yep. So you have um, eight attack strength in that hex there. The Panzers give you, uh, will give you a column shift because they'll be blitz enabled uh, from their current position. And then over here you have the other panzer, um, which will give you a column shift in, within two hexes of there. Yeah, is there anything you suggest? I mean, to me, for some reason, it seems like it would be best not to join them off, but I don't know if that leaves me uh, too weak to do attacks or... Uh, well, let's, I mean, so within the hex right now, you have six factors. Mm -hmm. um, the most that you're going to get by combining with either unit would be seven. So it's, it's only a gain of one combat factor. Obviously against, you know, six versus seven against the, the two units, you know, that's, those are still three to ones. And six to one and seven to one on the CRT is the same column. So actually maybe there's, there is no point to um, combining right now and, and you're better off just leaving the unit as is. And then if you need to, and that gives you some flexibility once you're in the exploit phase, that unit might be able to, to, to go off and lay a carpet of advance for the units underneath it to move further. So that's actually kind of an interesting idea. Maybe we don't combine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm think maybe doing that. All right. That would then, we have no organization in the organization segment. So now we'd move on to the operational movement phase. Um, so 
Why don't we, do you want to start, where do you want to start with that? And we'll just, I'll move. Just up, yeah, up in that. East Prussia there. Okay. We can do that one, right? Where are we going in East Prussia? Well, I would think it'd be, kind of do what we were said, where the one will cover the Zach. Okay. Uh, if we're going that way, this army could not reach this hex if we went through the swamp, right? Because that would be two, three movement points. So... Assuming we want to end up next to Warsaw, we're going to move that unit there to negate the Zoc, yeah. and then the army can go through like so. Yeah. All right. Over here, now, if this were a multi-step Panzer unit, we could overrun the one-step Polish right. infantry unit in Danzig, but because it's not, we're going to have to fight our way through. So do you want to move these guys here at all? Well, there's no benefit of moving them, is it? Uh, you know, if you want, if you or I mean, to like the if north, you were, I if mean, you were, yeah, if you were keen to have, like, you could do this, right? Something like that to get more firepower in the center. Um, you know, whether or not that's that's what you want to do, you've already got units down here. Um, Two. Yeah, let's. I think that's a good idea. What's that? Let's swing them to the south. You want to swing them to the south. All right. So we move cover the right. Zoc. Do you want to yeah. cover the Zoc with the Panzers, or do you want to cover the Zoc with like the one, two, three, or one of these units here? Oh yeah, we could do it that way too. Uh, yeah, probably the one, two, three. All right. So the one, two, three goes to Frankfurt on Oder, negating the Zoc there. Um, and you said kind of like that with yep, the infantry? Yep. All right. Yep. Uh, what about the Panzers? I mean, they could keep motoring down or they could stay with the infantry there. Um, the max stacking, of course, in the hex is three units and six steps. So right now we've got one unit and three steps. So we could place, you don't have any other, well, he's a three step unit, but you, you could place, you know, another three steps in that hex. We don't like. We're gonna need to have enough. Yeah, to you're gonna have to attack and, that. Yeah. Um, three to one, so we need at least six in there. Well, let's say that we did it with kind of those guys. All right, um, three, that's four, seven. six, eight. Oh, that's eight. To two would be a four to one. Um, we would have in that attack. We'd have HQ and Panzers, and they would have the city. But so, a city defense is a shift left. Yeah, that's a shift left. So, like the worst we would do there would be our DR one one uh, one. Um, so they would have to retreat or take a step loss, and then we would take a step loss, and they would take another step loss. So they only have two step losses in that hex. So these guys enough by themselves are enough to secure Posen. Yeah, I think that's good then. Just like okay. that. All right. Uh, so we want to move him up to there and where do you want to, where do you want to park the HQ? Let's see what hexes can, it can reach the 663 or can it go one more south too? It could go one more south. It could go to there, right? One, two, three, like so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we haven't moved these guys yet. Let's see, we gotta attack Krakow too. You have to attack Krakow, assuming again that we need a probably about eight. You're you're gonna want to okay, Krakow. Um so we'll we'll be using the HQ. Well, we'll be using that, that too, yeah. So he won't be available to us in the first combat phase. These guys also are not going to be blitz enabled. Oh, no, they were because you moved there. So uh, let's say you want to do it in one combat phase. Five plus three would be eight. That would be a four to one. We're mm -hmm. not using the tanks, though, so we don't have the benefit of any air. Um, so that would be on the three to one. So no, there it's 50-50 for getting two step losses in the one combat segment, but we do have the second combat segment. So... Um, Krakow's going to fall, it might be expensive. What that would do, if we did it with those two units, that would allow us to use the Panzers here 
combined with the infantry here, we're over, we're smacking these guys at yeah. uh, eight to one up, but we're going to get a good advance to put guys uh, next to Warsaw. Yeah, I, li I like that. Okay. So these guys motor here, they yep. motor here, and tanks go there. All right. So that looks pretty good for thinking all together. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, after the operational combat phase comes the blitz combat phase. So now all of our units that are within two hexes of this marker get to attack. Um, and that's everybody. Much everybody yeah. yeah, so we're, we're, we're rolling some dice and, and taking some names here. Where do you want to start your attacks? Uh, how about the, like the northwest uh, there with, uh, yeah. You want to start in Posen? Sure. Okay. So we said that this is going to be three, four, six to two is three to one. We've got, oh, we were throwing the HQ here too, right? Yeah. Okay. So three, let's, uh, we'll do this. Because the, the headquarters you can use multiple times, right? You can only use it once. Oh, you can only use it once. You can only use it once. So this is, this is a critical decision here. See, I don't know. Maybe that was a mistake in our other one. I thought the headquarters could be used in all. Though you'll get to use it again in the blitz combat segment, um, but it's not going it, to. From it's going to be from that position there. So it's going to. But yeah, I think that the headquarters that because we you said we had enough with Krakow with eight eight and two. Not yeah, using the it's gonna. It, it'll be a little, you know, like you might need to hit it again in the regular combat segment. Yeah, but yeah. it should be enough there to get the job done. So yeah, let's use the headquarters north. Uh, okay, so we have two, five, uh, six, eight to two is four to one. We've got shifts for, we've got attacking shifts for Panzers and headquarters, and they've got a shift for the defender. So that's going to be one shift for us. So it's going to be on the six to one, eight to one. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. We'll roll the die here. Oh, we get a five. Okay, so a five is a dr one one two. The poles are going to have to retreat or take a step loss, and then you're going to take a step loss, and then they're going to take two more step losses. Two. All right. What do I want to do here? I'm going to. Now, as far as retreating, I could retreat to here. I could retreat to there. Perfect. Did you say that it would have been better to hit the blitz hex first because we want to split? Uh, or does that make not make a difference here? Well, we'll find out. Maybe okay. what we'll do here is um, I'll send this move to file here. And then we can, um, if we want to reload from this point, we can kind of see what would happen if we had hit there instead. Because we've already rolled the die here, so let's, yeah, let's yeah. say let's 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 kind of resolve this. Um, so I can't. I have to retreat or take a step loss. I can. I have this option because the blitz marker is not in the hex. Um, if well, I, they can't. They can't retreat into the blitz hex, right? They can. Oh, they can. Oh, well, it's can. the Air Force that they can't? They can't retreat into the Air Force or into, yeah, they can't retreat into a hex containing an enemy unit or an enemy Zoc. So I can't retreat here, for example. I have to retreat here or there. I know that um, if I take the step loss, I'm going to take another step loss and die. Um, so I do actually, I think I'm, I'm going to try and be tricky here. Um, Normally, I'd, I'd want it, like, if I had a multi-hex retreat, I'd motor on down here just to mess with your attack. Um, if I retreat here, taking two step losses is still going to leave one point in the hex, and that's going to, like, you're just going to, you're going to slam that hex. That's not really going to help me. So I'm actually going to retreat here to Danzig. Okay, well, that works then. Yeah, and then I'm going to take my two step losses. And, you know, at least what I do here is I leave a guy in the hex to mess with you in the reserve combat phase or something like that. Um, you have to take a step loss, which has to be the Panzers. Okay. And then you get to advance after combat, which can be 
not the HQ, but these guys. So what presumably, yeah, it's probably them. one off. All right. right. Posen is secured. Uh, where do we want to attack next? Well, again, I was trying to, I thought of it after, but wouldn't it be yeah. best to, yeah, to kind of cut into, so, or does that? It, at this point, it's probably not going to make a difference. I might, yeah, have, yeah if you'd attack there first, um, that but it, might you didn't go better, there. but yeah, you know. It didn't matter now anyway. It didn't matter, yeah. Um, This guy's a, guess, this guy's already attacked. So yeah, yeah and at this used. point it's either Krakow or yeah. Would, let's yeah. just do Krakow first. Let's um, do Krakow or next. Okay. All right. Hit the um, flanks first. Yeah. All right. So here we've got eight to two is four to one, but we don't have any column shifts helping us out. So this is on the three to one. All right. Grab. So we want to this die roller, which is kind of annoying that it's over the CRT. We roll. So what do we we like low? Yeah, we like low. We got a two, which is a DR100. Zero, zero. So here, um, I can retreat or take a step loss. Do I want to retreat and give you Krakow? Uh, no, we'll make you attack us again. So we'll just take our step and um, um, die in place. All right, so now the only attack remaining, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this blitz marker, um, is the eight to one here. And we know we've got max column shifts. Uh, so this is on the nine to one. Okay. Ready? Keep it low. Keep it low. Four is what we roll. Yeah, that's probably all right. DR202. Two, DR202. Two. Two, two. I have to retreat. I don't have a city to help me out here. The first text of my retreat has to be here. And now I have to take these defenders with me. I can retreat to here. I can retreat to here. If I go there, I'm going to lose two more steps and leave one hex in there. So again, just to kind of mess with you as much as I can, I will go to there. Okay. All right. You get two hexes of advance. Um, I want to go next to wars. Yeah. The um, first hex always has to be the defender's hex. We do this one unit at a time. Yeah. We don't have a Zoc to negate here, so we, we motor on to Warsaw. And same thing, we motor on to Warsaw. Let's keep the air unit here in front. All right. Uh, that would be the end of the Blitz combat segment. So now we've got the regular combat segment. So you've got guys next to Warsaw. You've got guys next to Krakow. Posen's already secured. You could attack up here at Danzig if you want to, but you don't need to take Danzig. Yeah, there's not really no. Yeah. All right. Uh, where do you want to start? So this is just combat where... Uh... This is just combat. At this point, um, the blitz marker's been removed, so we don't get blitz column shifts. So the, the tanks aren't going to give you a column shift for Warsaw. Um, they can they can attack and figure into the odds if you want. Um, right now, assuming it's just the infantry, you'd have nine to two, would be a four to one. Throwing in the tanks would make it 11 to two which would be a five to one, but four to one and five to one are on the same column table. Yeah, so, so they're the same results. Right, so here we actually don't want to use the tanks because if we do, they'll be the first ones to die. Um, and uh, you know, in terms of like step, step management, you'd, yeah, you'd rather lose the infantry than the precious tanks. Yeah. Um, Warsaw has a column shift. We have an air column shift, so those results are going to cancel out. Cancel. So yeah. here, looking at the four to one, five to one, we've got a uh, five and six chance to take the city. All right, we won't do it on a six because that would be an exchange. Um, but anything else um, gives us at least kind of two hits to, to ding the defenders in Warsaw. So that's good. And then down here we got eight, 10. It is worthwhile to throw in the um, HQ Headquarters there. now. Yeah. Yeah, so might as well do that one. Let's do that crack out next. Time. All right, so we got 10 to one is on the max table and the city and HQ uh, results uh, cancel. So we roll the die, we got a six. That's probably good. Uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be good enough. It's a well, GR211. No, I mean, one. Yeah. Hopefully we're burning the six now instead of on the oh, other roll. There you go, yeah, because <laughs> the dice have, have uh, <laughs> keep the it dice random. Remember. Yeah, uh, DR211. 
All right, so uh, we're gonna retreat. Boop, boop. And you're gonna take a step loss. Uh, you know, you take it from like that guy. Yeah, we'd, have to, you know, we'd have to go over to the force pool and break, down. break him. He would actually go in the delay box, right? Cause he has a delay stripe on mm -hmm. him. There, again, we advance after combat. HQ can't advance, but we've got crack out. All right, and then the main event, you got, we've decided we don't want to use the Panzers here, so you got nine to two is four to one. So the shifts from, yep, shifts from the air and um, H, uh, city cancel. So here we go, Any, ready? You want to call no your six. shot? No, no six. 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 Ah. <laughs> Okay, so that's an exchange. Uh, the defenders have to go. F well, actually, no, you have to go first. You have to decide to retreat or take a step loss. Um, Probably would just take it. Well, you know, like, here's the thing. So you have to retreat or take a step loss. You, if you don't take a step loss, the, um, the poles have to do nothing. Um, if you do take a step loss, they have to retreat to take a step loss. They're obviously not going to retreat out of war socks. They don't want you to take it. Um, you know, here would be like a kind of a critical decision for next turn. You know, it's going to be mud. You know that um, Warsaw is going to be, uh, you're going to be looking at massive defenders in Warsaw, but maybe you actually would rather go ahead and just retreat because um, you still have the Panzers here, like putting well, a Zock on there. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what's it going to look like? I mean, they're going to they're going to throw in units here, right? Um, they would combine, and these guys are going to be in supplies. So they're going to combine there. And they'll be able to get in. And then you're, one thing too is just to yeah. that uh, just to refresh my memory yeah. is that that does uh, surrender a country or whatever because that's their final. You need to occupy all the cities in a minor country to 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 yeah. conquer them, and so that's that's so why, that's why they would they would dump yeah. everything in. There. Yeah, because they're like the massive defense. Um, you know, in this case, that that would be the decision, right? Like, like this is obviously enough for us to kind of like um, end the training scenario. But in terms of kind of like what you'd be doing next turn, you'd you'd want to get set up to hit Warsaw um, either in the fall or in the winter. Um, you're going to be facing massive defenders in there. Um, maybe actually you'd just rather go ahead and take the loss or retreat so that you preserve steps. Mm -hmm. Um, or maybe to make it easier next turn, we do want to hit that. Um, we do want to hit that. And there's no reason why we can't, you know, kind of extend the training scenario here to, to you know, to explain. Kind of goof around with blood it. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Hit retreat and take the stuff, or t uh, retreat or take the stuff loss. Well, if we want, if you're right, I thought we were just, uh, you know, we were going to end this just to take it as a. But if we're going to continue, then yeah, I would save the stuff. All right. Uh, well, yeah, back we're, up. We're just messing around here. So okay. So the polls, nothing happens to the polls. Uh, that would be the end of the turn. We would. Then they would move in. They would throw their, you know. So this this guy would go in the delay box. Um, you know, he's, roll he's to, not roll really, to see if we get a one. Yeah. Two. No, he's not going to be back until winter. So we can just leave him there. Um, uh, let's see here. We can. We'll pretend that the poles take are taking their turn. Um, yike! Yike! So that's four steps. And that's the most they can get in there because that's, we can remove these guys. Uh, because that's three units, so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, three heck, yeah. yep, three yep. Yep, yep. So the trade-off here um, would be three defense versus four defense, right? If we had taken the step loss or, or if you'd forced the poles to take the step loss. Will, would that make a difference? I don't know. We'll see. Um, the other thing you might have considered doing um, in your the rest of your turn would be to attack Danzig just to get these guys out of the way and to free these guys up. 
mm, because yeah. in the mud, units that start in Zoc um, can't move. And we're going to definitely want these guys. So let's say that before we end our last turn, we go ahead and attack here. Fish at, and finish those off, yeah. Yeah, With five what? to one. Uh, three, what's a three? That's a DR101. So that'll be enough to get the job done. They'd retreat to there and then get removed. Because yeah, they can't they can't go right. into a Zoc. Yeah, advance after combat like so. All right, uh, so the poles moved. So now it would be, your second turn of fall um, in the support segment, we'd pick this up. It's mud, so your units that start in Zoc can't move. So I'd actually probably want to leave that guy there just to pin. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move like so to, to pin as many of your guys as I can. In fact, if I wanted to be really crafty, I had like a unit here. Or did I have yeah, this there? Yeah, yeah I, I did. So. Um, you know, like I could even go there and like pin your HQ so it couldn't reach Warsaw. That would be super mean. We'll just go here because that's what <laughs> I did first. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not going to make a difference. Okay, so that let's say that's the situation at, at the start of your mud turn. Uh, we're not going to place a blitz segment or a blitz. We could place the blitz marker, but we can't attack in mud in, mud. in blitz, so we'll just ignore that. So you're going to basically have the one combat segment to try and inflict. Move up. As yeah, uh, one, two. We'd want to combine that guy. All right, so he's going to there. He wants to occupy Posen. These guys are stuck. He moves up. So here we've got 11, 13, 15 to 4. Um, or it could have been 3 if we'd forced them to take the step loss. Again, that's on the 4 to 1, 5 to 1. Um, our ships. They have, the Polish defenders have City and Mud. Yeah, I was just going to say his Mud. Yeah. Uh, and you've got HQ. That's There's no way we're going to inflict four step losses this turn. So They would never get it. Wouldn't get it. So Warsaw's going to hold out until at least winter. So, yeah, we, we didn't get the job done. But hopefully you learned a few things. Yeah. Any, any kind of questions after all that run through? No, I guess it just uh, was it just more uh, just a bad die roll or that was just a bad anything, die roll. You, you did anything. like you put yourself in a position to take all three cities. You had yeah. a, a five six chance of doing it. Yeah. And one thing you learn about Axis Empires, um, um, the dice are going to throw you some curves sometimes. And yeah. So I, I think you can feel good about what you what you did here. Um, I mean, would be yeah. is, is if that other decision of attacking the weaker hex first or something like that. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that might be something good to kind of, um, to. I, I think this is probably a good point to, to stop the video for, for those who are watching online, but I think that that might be something that um, you know, we can, you and I can continue to mess around with off camera or you can, you can I can send you the, the move file so you can load back to where we were and then you can kind of mess around yeah. and see if you think that would have made a difference. Um, you also yeah, have the, the scenario now if you want to explore some different paths. Yeah, that, yeah, that was good. Thanks. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing the screen here. Um, and I'm going to say thank you to our viewers who are watching. Thank you to Steve for um, allowing himself to be put to the test here for the, the benefit pig. of others. Yeah, the guinea pig. And uh, I'll just you know reiterate, this is an open invitation to anyone who wants to, to go through um, the tra training scenario. Steve, if you want to meet again in a week and we can do Barbarossa, that would be yeah, that would be I fine. mean, yeah. Like I said, right. uh, cool. Yep. Thanks. All right. Uh, so um, I'm gonna stop recording, and then Steve, if you want to stay on, we can we can keep yeah. going, or we can. Um, uh, not, but anyway, bye all. That's not the recording thing. Where? Oh.